All right, folks, the deck is Dragon Reno Warlock. Jeez, I botched that, didn't I? I thought it was Priest for a second. All right, folks, the deck is Dragon Reno Lock. The goal of the deck is to play some dragons in the early game or just use Dragon Queen Alexstrasza to get our Gazaka's Man online and find a win condition that way. It's got a lot of early game removal to deal with things like Aggro Rogue as well as a variety of other decks. And it can even use Gorlock Ravager to draw into a combination of Sea Devil Stinger and Gigafin for a big board clear. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash rock. Hey, welcome, Big D Gamer Boy. All right, I'm confident this deck will be much more successful than the last. I don't think Hunter is a matchup for the Ravager, but we could use some healing here. Stinger into Mutanus could be a thing. Armor, armor. Also just a hunt for Dirty Rat. Um, but I don't know. It still relies on our opponent being incompetent to win this game. Most of the time, at least. Like, there's just no world where it's correct for them to hold the, uh, or to not hold the, the Tavish. Or rather, jeez. Words are difficult. Uh, there's no world where it's correct for them to hold the Tavish in hand for a turn. Like, if they do that, they deserve to lose. my life a little easier. Alright, please botch this. Down. It's gonna be hard on their curve. I might need to defile my own board just for the four healing here. Moment of truth. That use of the coin makes no sense. Did they think they were one step ahead? The answer is yes. Yes, they did. Crush the invaders! This must I get you by it. Afraid of rat? 
then explain the coin. That's what we were talking about. I understand. <laughs> I've been talking about the dirty rat since turn zero. <laughs> I don't like that's not the problem with that turn. Poncho, thank you for the 12 months. Fortunately, our opponent was competent. Break it, you buy it. The only way I can gain health. The MMR so low, our opponent are going to be easy for a bit, I imagine. Or we are not queuing based on MMR. So that is irrelevant. I understand that Tamsin shuffles in duplicates. I also understand that that's not a legitimate concern. There's a big difference between a card that you have to play in order to turn off Reno and putting two copies of a card in your deck. Those are very, 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 very different. So it's not at all comparable. If we're in a situation where we're not about to die and we need to keep the Reno effects online, we just simply don't play the Tamsin. We're in a situation where we're about to die before we draw the Reno, which is common, and we need a three AOE, we play the Tamsin. And worry about the consequences later. Uh, we're just trying to rush to Kazakuzin and uh, win that way. Oh. 
but this might be a Mutanus game. I see you. Need to think about the timing of it a little bit. Entirely sure how helpful that was going to be anyway. A lot of stats in play for free. Good old fashioned exclamation point rat turn. Well, speaking of. Very good hit for me. I kind of want to see more cards out of their hand before I go in on the, uh, is, uh, the Mutanus, though. At last, a worthy disciple. That gets the Kazakas man online Life and, hope. and develops a lot of big numbers. Or not. Maybe they've got another dirty rat in there. Wait, we've got both anuses. Varanus and Mutt Anus. Potentially a dirty rat in here. They're down. I say one bird. Z They have one more freeze effect plus the shutter. Nature waits for no one but me. They hit the freeze effect most of the time. Or not. They hit the grump. Oh. Didn't even hit the grumble. Order? I 
That was pretty bad. So no grumble, no Feng Gang yet. I wonder if I should have played a uh, Hysteria on one of the Theranites first. Would that have been better? No, it could have bumped in, into this and just killed me. Bzz. I was gonna slam this Ticketus. <laughs> like, yeah, the Deathwing was uh, unfortunate, but there were situations where it could have won me the game. If they had just like tempo to shutter walk without grumble, or if the grumble failed, I like that's just a free win, right? It's tempting to keep the stinger, but um, no. I think I was just too greedy hoping to do the uh, uh, gore lock. Okay, well, Soul Ren's looking pretty good. And we just go as anti aggro as we can, which is what this deck is uh, built to do. Oh no, my weapon charges! Good. Yeah, I've got I've got a good hand for this matchup. I might even just coin up the, the Viper next turn and then go uh, evil into Rend behind that. Let's try and keep pace on board. I could even now go tap Mistress if I don't have a necessary spell blown evil. Full blown evil. Missed opportunity for that name. I thought it, I just assumed it was spell blown evil. Mixing Warder just because new card. Uh, it's not a new card. It's a good anti-aggro card, and it's uh, helpful for getting Kazakasan online. Give me one second. I think I can take a five pot here. We're in a very good spot. Draw cards, AOE. This one's fine. Of 
born in the 90s uses his phone as a phone? Yeah. Um, they're just letting me know that my dog is ready to be picked up from the groomers. We just hit like e this. This deck is just so good into aggro. <laughs> All hands Pirates away! <laughs> this might stick. Oh, those are two of the worst ones I could have gotten, but that's all right. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, Dirty Rat. I guess I could have gotten Nether Breath face, or Nether Breath and then uh, face with a Demonic Assault, but. You're welcome, Valve. This is a heavy, heavy list. go face with nether breath can you oh you're right i always get it mixed up with the hunter one A lot of eight aids. And not a lot of shadow spells for the opponent. It is Stallion. I give it the prime. How do you feel about the Gazakazan rework? I think it's uh, much better the way it is now than the way it was. Ooh. All right, we get to try our luck against a Rouge. I don't think we want Dirty Rat. 
that early. Ooh, okay, Dirty Rat would have been much better than the uh, Alexstrasza. I was kind of hoping for a one mana minion instead of the, uh, the rat. Rat is very good in this matchup just because it's not likely to hit anything big. So. Still just don't really have anything to do on turn one. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Amalgam of the Deep be a decent card in this deck. I think it'd be okay, but you don't really... It doesn't work with what the deck's trying to do. The deck is meant to be anti-aggro, and that's a value card. So it just doesn't fit with the stated purpose of the deck. Then again, neither does Ticketus, but like you do need some form of... Uh, Theoretical win condition against uh, some value decks. Bury tomorrow. I give it the sub. Aha! Pretty close to as poorly as that could have gone. So to be fair, they're generally playing this card for free anyway. We're not clear with Dark Skies, uh, because Dark Skies has the potential to do more for less mana later. I was considering it, but... That's why I didn't clear with Dark Skies. I think Blizzard is going to unnerf Questline when it rotates out of standard, or will they just allow nobody to play it ever? Well, they're going to they're gonna change it to be different. They've already unbanned. They've already stated that they're going to unban it and potentially change it for the format. So I don't I don't have to speculate. They they told us. is just not good enough. This is the... Should have gone in a different order, but I was kind of hoping for the Dirty Rat. Past the point where, uh, health total wise, I'm able to hero power here, I think. Good. Just about to say they might need to consider trading there. Why didn't you hear a power? <laughs> Look. 
Kaku decided to show up. Serve or die. All right, let's see what we get first. Life and health of Will Fighting. <laughs> oh, all right. That could kill me very easily. Dead. They missed the pirate. Oh, they missed the pirate. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, what could they even have left? Just burn spells, maybe? They have another parachute brig and another ship's cannon. Oh god. Yeah, that actually lost me one turn. I could have uh, cleared. That was a really bad hit for me. That would have been a great spot for Tamsin, though. That was uh, a bit of a bummer. I think that was like maybe one of two cards remaining in their deck that won them the game most cards, so. Probably were. The loss. Right, let's keep the uh, the gore lock. See if we can get some one mana minions. Priest is likely inner fire, if I had to guess. I just kind of want to get to this so that I can get to the stinger gigafin. Okay. It's kind of what I figured it was. It's just the inner fire deck. Like of Flames is good, but it's looking for the wild growth. And something to contest their uh, um, cleric with. Welcome, Mr. Bones.
I honestly considered just uh, ripping the Plague of Flames there, but I wanted to get the um, Plague or the uh, the Wild Growth online so that I could get it here faster. Death does not scare me. is my suggestion. Why? Why are none of these the card that I want? Just wanted uh, Big Game Hunter. Probably because my life total is so low. That was, oh my god, that just completely, completely botched my turn. Um, I was going to kill both minions because it's the correct play, but Zeph didn't get the card that I anticipated, and it just lost me the game. I was going to go big game hunter into Plague of Flames and be in an unlosable position. Really frustrating. Godfrey's good. So is the uh, soul rend. Love a defile here. Doesn't seem okay. Weird choice for a new hero power? No, isn't that one of the best ones? Is more the way that they kind of are overextending.
made you look. Thank you for the prime. Play the uh, foul blown evil. How is wild? Is it the same decks over and over like you see in standard and meta that's not really wild at all? I mean, any format's going to have the best decks that people are naturally going to gravitate towards. There tends to be more options in wild. But it depends on heavily on what ranks you play as well. But some ranks it is legitimately just people playing their old favorite decks. Uh, the higher up you go, the more serious people are going to be taking it. Love how Priest is in its own category. How's that the case? Right. One of the uh, ten playable classes. Perhaps maybe in your own mind, Priest is in a different category, but that's... Oh, I see. Never mind. My mistake. Alright, we got the Jigafin. And we played a Corrupted Ticketus, so this game is clearly over. The opponent can never win again. Boy, look at how much impact that had. To be fair, this isn't really the matchup where it matters. This is probably not broken, but it still irks me seeing it. Yeah, I get kind of um, like bent out of shape when I see my opponents play bad cards too. So I, I can relate to that.
hanging on to the last. I think it was just a robot. Saw some version of Reno uh, running void contract. Yeah, I saw a couple. Um, I know Martian had a list that was doing that, but I have no idea what it's meant to hit. But I think the list that I originally saw was out of China. I just want to have removal for their minions before they combo me. Destroying my own cards gives me anxiety. I mean, you just treat it as though they are at the bottom of your deck, right? How often do you draw every single card in your deck? So if you think about it that way, them getting burned is no different than them just being at the bottom, since we're not running any dredge cards. Medium purple, they give it the prime. Like, last game, we would not have been able to win if we didn't play the uh, the soul rend and destroy our opponent's board. Right? So I'd say winning the game is a fair trade-off for losing those cards. Maybe I should have just gone Zeph for uh, wild growth, but I'm not really sure what I'm wild growthing into, and I don't know what type of priest it is just yet. If I'd seen a cleric, I probably would have tempoed the, the Zeph. Or not tempo, just gone for wild growth. But if it's big priest, I kind of need to hold this up. Here's our mutt anus. You think Ticketus is better at lower ranks or higher ranks? Or is he just bad at all ranks? He's just bad at all ranks. Like, he, he's a card who usually does not do anything for six mana. Again, whether it's your cards or your opponent's cards, burning cards rarely has an impact on the a meaningful impact on the game. But people also get really mad at me when I say that every time, so... Ticketus does more mental damage than it actually impacts the game. I mean, maybe if you have a weak mental. Looks like it might be Big Priest, in which case the uh, Mutanus. And actually, the Ticketus will be important in this game. Nope, they played an insight, so probably not big priest. Maybe boars or um, like the dark glare duck. Let's get a one pot here. Got raised out if this dies, but. I don't really have much else that I can get out of hand right now. If they could just add charge, would it be good? Very much though, yes. Am I dead here? Yeah, I'm dead. teach me to uh, buff my own minions, I guess. Much counterplay? I mean, there unironically is a boatload of counterplay against that deck. Just because a deck beats me doesn't... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 
You're not supposed to win 100% of the games that you play. There is absolutely counterplay to that deck, and a lot of it. Ian, thank you for the $2 tip. I have weak mental, but not to Arston. The rollback of human rights in America gives me anxiety that none of us deserve. Hopefully you understand what I'm referring to, but I won't mention it directly to not trigger some chatters. I mean, even just the vague allusion to it will trigger some chatters, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, it is a rather unfortunate um, turn of events. But I don't know. I think a lot of reasonable people, myself included, were expecting it, but not necessarily to happen so quickly and so blatantly. Uh, really disappointing. And directly contrary to the, what the majority of the Americans believe in. Viper's honestly not even that great in this matchup. But... I think it'll be okay. Yeah, actually, I, I saw EC was talking about how his uh, he he did a stream on the topic and said that it's now <laughs> uh, out of date, which. Okay. okay, this isn't terribly reliable to clear here. What does Zeph offer here? Nothing that useful, right? Just set up for a Defile next turn. I don't really see a better play than the Spell Balloon Evil right now. Just, uh, again, anticipate defiling next turn and then adjust. I also have the Drain Soul if I need it. in there though. Seems worth. Your wish is my suggestion. So we can go here and here, unless we hit a dragon.
before they hit a smite. What if they get stuck with the Rokara in hand? We've got a Mud Anus. Okay. Fly, party. One more. Does opponent have brain? Unlucky. Just gonna hit a big jig of fin next turn. Or someone's gotta lead the charge. Maybe a Josh free. Because this is kind of spooky into the cannon shots, right? But Don't get outrageously unlucky here. That's an Arcanite Reaper. to rip this, I think. Or maybe just the god frame. Just 
just really need something to go alongside the Godfrey. I don't really have anything alongside the Soul Rend either, though. Oh, probably got to be Godfrey. Missed all of them. It's all the same. In a box, hmm, pirates. The Viper is good because it gives me something to do behind the Godfrey. It's a dragon in hand. Ow. Oh, come on. Well. I can now go Plague Mutanus. Knife the Dragon. Speaking of Dragon. Something big? Hmm. Big enough. That's a bad weapon for them. Why you have Tamsin character on Reno? Uh, because of the turn that we just had where it helped us in our quest to win this game. That's alarming. They have been getting quite a few high rolls this uh, game, haven't they? Or at least it feels like it. Isn't ten pod just better? Uh, sometimes. What? No, I don't need value right now. I need to survive. I have more than enough value in my hand.
Every nightmare must end. Life at any cost. Every nightmare must end. Or die. <laughs> Got Pirate Warrior to fatigue should be an achievement. True, but we did have a little help from our friend Ticketus. That doesn't keep you alive. Weird to have people questioning cards that are winning the game in the middle of the game that they're winning the game for. I'll be right back after a mulligan here. I don't want any of these. Apologies to our opponent. If they had a nature studies, the mutanus might be very important in this matchup. Form for three mana. So for Ferocious Hell again. Huh? You buy we go uh, Stinger into Mutanus. I was open for. Your wish is my suggestion. Okay, well, I was going to have a hard time getting a good hit anyway, just because there are so many minions in this deck. Oh, okay. 
That's brutal. Okay. Uh, opponent's gonna have more value than me. I think I just need to rush down the uh, the Kazakusen as quickly as I can, so that I can end the game as quickly as I can. I need to be the aggressor. Ticketus could also help, but like, well. Okay. I want to coin this into Ticketus. This must be the way. Do be ramping that. But we do know that it's Reno, so we're not as likely to get bursted down by a combo. Wait, do I even have two things dead yet? Yeah, I do. Oh, no! No! I wanted the Mutanus. Come on, man. Okay. Gonna need stuff for big board clears, I think. It kind of tips off the fact that they're not likely to be running uh, Spreading Plague. I don't think I need to be in a big hurry to clear off my minions. Right, because they're probably a um, Adrenox deck. They could still be running Spreading Plague, but it's less likely. Maybe we can get another uh, Kazakas man off of this. So we are going to have to do quite a lot of damage. Uh, Zeph for Bloodlust, though? Okay. Still have that as an option. How much damage is that? 12. Plus 6 times 3. 30. You're dead. Twelve plus eighteen. Your wish is my suggestion. The Earth Mother. Okay, solve that problem. Just don't let them get to the point of uh, value. I was not expecting that board to stick in the way that it did. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for me. I'm going to go pick up my dog.